There were many great and powerful Jedi that served during the Clone Wars era and during the Clone Wars conflict. One of the most famous and skilled was Jedi Council member Plo Koon, who was the only Jedi that Anakin Skywalker referred to as his equal in Form 5 lightsaber combat. But from this powerful Master of the Order, there was another Jedi that was extremely powerful, so powerful that she survived the initial stages of Order 66, and was one of the first prominent Jedi to ever face Darth Vader, the newly formed cybernetic monstrosity in lightsaber combat, nearly killing him. Today, we will discuss the story of Sha Koon, the Jedi that nearly killed Darth Vader right after Order 66. Sha Koon was the niece of Plo Koon and was actually at the Jedi Temple when it was stormed by Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader. Sha Koon, with her very eyes, witnessed Anakin Skywalker kill Jocasta Nu, instantly deducing that the young Chosen One had fallen to the dark side. She could feel the hatred permeating off of Skywalker's very body, and the power of the dark side being ever prevalent within the temple. Sha Koon also sensed that Anakin Skywalker was far too powerful to take on in one-on-one -on -one lightsaber combat, as he was engulfed in the power of rage and the dark side, and had fallen into a killing frenzy. She also saw the legions of clone troopers at his back, and decided to flee using secret passageways below the Jedi Temple. For some time, Sha Koon resided in the depths of the Jedi Temple, ultimately tracing the signal for all Jedi to come back back to the Jedi Temple for, of course, Lord Vader and other clone troopers to slaughter them directly back to the Emperor. Using her knowledge as a Jedi, she was one of the first to deduce the Emperor Palpatine was in fact Darth Sidious, and saw no other way to cripple the Empire than reaching out to Sidious himself offering him a deal. After devising a plan to kill Darth Vader, Sha Koon reached out to Darth Sidious, expressing that she had fallen to the dark side of the Force in the depths of the Jedi Temple, feeling the dark side extremely prominent there and now within the wider galaxy, and said that she wanted to join him as her new Sith apprentice, saying that she was willing to do anything, even kill Darth Vader in one-on-one -on -one lightsaber combat. Palpatine, though, full well knew that this was a trap for Lord Vader and himself, but decided to send Vader within the depths of the Jedi Temple anyway, as a test for his new apprentice, especially after his defeat at the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Palpatine knew that Vader needed to prove himself here, and eliminate the final Jedi that lied within the Temple. When Darth Vader slowly entered the catacombs of the Jedi Temple, Sha Koon was absolutely shocked and chilled to her core. She had expected to see the young Anakin Skywalker, although engulfed in the dark side of the Force, still a man, but instead, what stood before her her was a monstrosity, a monstrosity born of failure in the dark side itself now a fully realized Darth Vader. Darth Vader instantly recognized Sha Koon as the Jedi that had reached out to his master, pointing his lightsaber at her and telling her that if she had not fled that day during Order 66, he would have killed her along with her brothers and sisters. Sha Koon, though, also sensed something within Lord Vader, that being something that was not there before weakness. She saw that the armor was cumbersome and was not worn by choice. Darth Vader, though, could still sense that he would be more than a match for the young Jedi, which is why he was puzzled why she would call him within the depths of the temple alone. Just then, Sha Koon called out using the Force to a creature known as a Scython. A Scython was a zombie-like bat creature that had electromagnetic shock, with Sha Koon telling Darth Vader that the creatures were stupid and easily controlled by the Force, sending the Scythons to attack Lord Vader, and with the electromagnetic pulse, they temporarily shut down his suit. Although the creatures dealt major damage to Vader and his suit, by reaching out with the dark side of the Force, he crushed all of their head, igniting his lightsaber in a fit of rage, now saying that it was an even battlefield. And despite this, Vader would still prove to the Jedi that he was superior, superior in every way. Using the power of the Force itself, Vader maneuvered his armor, despite his life support system being damaged by the Creature. The lightsaber duel was not prolonged, with both combatants using their full force almost immediately. Sha Koon managed to damage Vader's control panel as she swiped him across the chest with her lightsaber. Realizing that Vader's armor was too much for him to wield using the force and fight with a lightsaber at the same time, he fell back on the dark side. Clenching his fist together, he grabbed Sha Koon's throat with the dark side, pulling her towards his lightsaber and impaling her through the chest. As Sha Koon died though, she was granted a vision by the Force. She saw the Rebellion, Luke Skywalker, and even Darth Vader turning back to the light side, throwing the Emperor down a reactor shaft 
and was able to die in peace, to the anger of Darth Vader, who saw no vision, only the Jedi coming to terms with her final moment. Darth Vader then threw Shaw Kun's body aside and exited the Jedi Temple, now Victoria, and finally slaying the last Jedi within its depths. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and how this Jedi Knight nearly killed Darth Vader after Order 66, and how she was lucky enough to fight a Vader who was very unexperienced in his suit? Anyway, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.